Okay. Hey, everybody. This is Sunday Stroll. This is a piece that I painted live in my Creative Connection membership. It was our April paint tutorial. Um, so today I have actually sold this piece. Hello, everybody. I'm so glad you're here. Dion here. Matt's here. Hello. Sold this piece the other day and the customer called me and requested a monarch on this piece. So you remember the big wardrobe that we did? Um, I painted a monarch on it, but I didn't do it on camera because I was too nervous. I'd never painted a butterfly before. So I was like, I'm not doing it on the cameras. But today I painted this one. Now I'm gonna tell you what I'm gonna do to this because I'm not quite finished with this monarch, but I'm gonna paint another one that looks more like this, a half one. What do you call this? Not a half one. I wanna paint the whole one, but- Profile. It's a profile? Oh, I want the profile pick of the Monarch. So I'm gonna have you guys help me select where we're gonna put it. Um, I see you, we are running up on Instagram. We're on Facebook and my Michelle is here. If you guys have any questions, need a link, my girl is here for you. Hello, Lindsay and Pam. I see you guys. Hi, Lolly, Patty and Lori, Carol Ann, Betty, Meg, Tammy, Weber. Hello, Julie. Um, okay, so we're in the dining room, so it might sound a little bit differently, but this piece is sitting here. Um, it is sold, and this is, like I said, this is a piece that I did inside our Creative Connection. Um, I've painted all of the flowers by my with just my fingers. I splattered, splatter, splatter. That was our challenge for the month for April, and then I brought in the flowers. The most fun part about this that I have never done before, I actually covered uh, the entire piece with our turquoise wax from DIY. So it's that uh, verdigris wax. I put that over the entire piece and then I came back in with some black to create some shading. Uh, so anyway, I have this Monarch and I want to create a smaller one. So Matt says a profile pic, okay? <laughs> so we're gonna do a profile pic. Um, don't, don't judge. Um, you never would, but I'm like, I'm, I'm already a little nervous about it and I've already painted two before, but, um, hi mom. Is that a transfer? It's so pretty. Gavin, thank you for the compliment. I appreciate you, buddy. Uh, but it's not, I painted this on here, but I'm going to sand it back a little bit. I'm going to put the turquoise wax over it and a little bit of shading with the black wax because I want it to blend in a little bit more right now. When I look at this, I like, boom, see the monarch right? Uh, so I want it to tone it down a little bit. So tell me, you guys, do we place it over? Karen, uh, yeah, Karen Brown, that is. She says, can you paint it so that it looks like it's on top of the handle on the middle drawer to the right as we see it? Top of the middle drawer on, on the, the handle, handle. Yeah. right here. So that's what I want to ask you guys. Where should I place it? I was, I was going to say A, over here, on this flower down here, on the milkweed over here. Down here on this bottom, little milkweed. Mary says maybe in the foreground on the left. Or over here. I was thinking back over here somewhere. And since we're just going to do a much smaller one, just a little profile one. Kristen would like to see one on the top drawer. On the top Karen drawer. says other handle. Oh, other handle? I was going to put it on one of the flowers. The other thing I was going to tell you, the customer called me and requested the Monarchs because she had a really personal story that went along with it. We got, both of us got choked up and um, she said, I want to buy this piece from you, but I would love if you could add the Monarch. So that's why I added this to it, even though I've already photographed this piece without it. I added the, the Monarch and then I want to add just a little bit more because she talked about having a Monarch garden and what it meant between she and her husband. Um, okay. So the last one, okay, so A, guys, you got you to gotta tell me. Mama says bottom. My mama? Mm -hmm. Okay, mom says bottom. So A, B, or C. You guys have to tell me. A, B, or C. Hello, Alice. Hi, Alice. Ellie's here and Tasha's here. Cheryl's here. Hello, Mr. Gavin. Evolving Bliss. Gavin, are you home yet? No, he's in Virginia right he's now. He's in Virginia. He's still on the road. Are you getting tired of hotels? <laughs> Pam says C. Okay, so A, B, or C. Got some B's, got some C's. Mitzi Man says A, 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 A. Nobody's saying B. All oh, the A's are starting to come in. So now. this is too vibrant for me. Guys, it's popping off. To me, it looks like it's a sticker. Not because I did it that great, but because it's so bright. I'm going to end up sanding them. 
I'm going to put that turquoise wax over it like we did the entire piece and put a little bit of black too. And then we're going to ship this piece off to New Jersey. Gavin is currently in Virginia. C, C, C. There's a few B's. I feel like more people are saying C than anything else. But mom well, said, mom said B. My mom. You guys, I've never done this before. Lots of C's going in. A, C's? Okay. A and C, A or B, A, B, C, D, E, F's, G's. Tasha said B as well. Sharon says B as well. Valerie says B. Sharon says B. Uh, Sharon says Sharon B. from the planet says it's me too, B, 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 B. A, B. I just thought this milkweed right here. Sharon from another planet, I have a question for you. Okay. Janet, do you happen to have a picture of me and Lindsay Flint? Lindsay does. Lindsay has it. Lindsay has it? Yeah, Lindsay told me today she had it. Oh, okay. All right. <laughs> I may need that picture. Okay. She uh, says yes. Okay. Send it to me, Janet. I was thinking over here, honestly, personally, I was thinking over here. But here I am. I can't tell more A's or B's. Go with the one you think is best. That's why I need help, Derek. So now, now we're gonna rule out. I don't know. Well, I'm back to square one. I don't know. What do you think? What do you think? Okay, let's 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 work this out. All right. Who's? What do you think more? I think they're gonna get tired of me asking. Yeah. I think I think they just want you to make a decision. Okay. Well, I want, want it to be balanced. So in my mind, I was thinking it needed to go over here because there's more flowers. We need it over here. Where's A? But the butterflies are gonna be around the flower. This is A. Okay. Where's B? B. Okay. Where's C? Up here. On these flowers. I'm going to go with C on the flower. Well, I mean, I was putting them, I was putting them on a flower, honey. Okay. If a had, and B are both on had, a flower. If you had a choice to put A and B, where would you put it? That's what I can't decide. No, no, no. I'm asking you. If, if this wasn't your piece and you were like, hey. It would be easy for me to decide. Well, I, I know. So but I just can't. You can't do it? Mm -hmm. All right. <laughs> Don't hide it, especially if you're going to sand it back a bit. B, B, Rose, your mama is a sweetheart. B, not B, says Gavin. Miss Mitzi Man says, please put close to A. We can see it then. Okay. I feel like it's going to be more balanced, guys. I'm just telling you. You're going with A. I'm going with A. I'm going to put it over here. I was going to put it down here, but instead I'll put it over here. We'll put it right here on this milkweed right here. So they'll be, they'll be <laughs> together. That has a great solution. Put one just on do, everywhere. Just do, just do three. I monarchs. actually thought do, of that. Do I was three like, and then go three. <laughs> I thought of that too. So I'm going to need to move this phone over a little bit because I don't think they can see that as well. There we go. Instagram. And Abby is all up in my business. Hi, baby. Okay. Okay. The moment when you text your son. And you get a response from Dion. Marlis. Marlis texted me today, honey. <laughs> she told me that she'd ordered more dog food from Amazon. Did you tell and that her, she was coming home this weekend. Did you tell her that was a good idea? Yeah, and then and then she wanted to know if uh well, I won't finish the rest, but it it seems a little more personal, Marlis. But yeah. <laughs> I was like, when your son's name is all the same letters as Dion, but it, it's actually Donnie. I can see where that would be a mistake. I was like, wrong girl, my friend, or wrong person, my friend. <laughs> All right, I think I think everybody's just okay. happy. We're happy just we're just going with it. So yeah. I'm gonna grab my little edge. I'm gonna grab my icon, and I also have the round. Okay, I don't remember what the name of is because this was the sample one. Uh, so I'm gonna use all three of these. It might be sweet to have a third one. It might be. Let's see how this goes. Now, Janae has a good point. She says, nectarine butterflies stay up high. Nectarine. Ne yeah. ne nectarine. Not nectarine. Ne nectarine. Nectarine. Yes. Nectarine. Hey, sissy girl, can you go lay down? Go find your brother. So, is this not high enough? No, it'd be because it's on top of the flowers. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. We're going to put it they right on top. just like down in the flowers like B was supposed to be. Does that make sense? Mm, okay, I got you. All right, well, let's just line it out. I'm going to get some black. I have uh, my Mars yeah. black and mm -hmm. my yellow ochre. And then I also have um, some white from DIY. And then I have our fire starter. I'm going to mix the yellow with the yellow, the yellow with the yellow. That's great. I, I think you should mix the yellow with the white. Yeah. 
Okay, so here's my picture that I'm using, much smaller. Um, how is everybody's day? Uh, beside from talking, okay, Abby, thank you. Beside from talking about monarchs, how is everybody's day? Hello, I see you on the gram. I'm gonna start with the black and I'm just gonna frame it out and I'm gonna start with my round. These are all available on my website and the reason I tell you that is because people always say, what brush are you using? And I want you to know, you can get them by Mother's Day. Boom, okay, boom. This one feels a little bit hard. Got some pressure? I feel pressure and I think it's because people are watching. Okay, everybody just turn it off. <laughs> Don't turn it off. I mean, you can if you want. But... Kristen CPAC, I got a job. You got a job today. Like a <laughs> painting job, a non-painting job. Congratulations. Way to go. Very happy for you. That's a good day right there. Alice says, I'm happy because my baby is here. Oh, very nice. Alice. I'm so happy to hear that. Yes. Valerie says that she will cover her eyes. Honey. So right now, everybody cover your eyes for a sec. Every okay. Just yeah. Okay, give me, give us about 10 minutes and then come back on. It's a joke, guys. Yep. Abby's going to sit next to me, though. Oh, Kristen, a uh, non-painting job. Been out of work for a year. Aww. Oh, I'm so, oh, bless you. Excuse me. I should have made that noise that you made. Um, uh, Sandra and Santa Cruz, she says, um, fantastic. I sold my first custom cross. Oh, congratulations. Congratulations. It's always good. You'll never forget your first sale. Alice and Dion, that's such a beautiful piece. You did a wonderful job. Thank you. I did this one inside our Creative Connection. It was the April tutorial. And um, I ended up continuing to add more flowers. Like I finished it and then I kept looking at it in the garage and I was like, man, I'm going to add more flowers. I'm going to keep going and I kept going and then I really loved the way the turquoise wax almost gave it like a tint. Overall, it just tinted the whole thing. Um, Guess what? We'd like to give a shout out to Lolly Lolly's uh, daughter graduated from college this past weekend. Oh my goodness, congratulations, Lolly. Is your daughter the one that we've seen on here before? Has she joined us and helped you? Yeah, I'm making little legs. Their legs are kind of freaky looking, you know, they're just kind of creepy. Derek, I will let you know when you open your eyes. So right now, just keep them closed and <laughs> listen to the wonderful commentary. Is it wonderful? I think so. <laughs> oh, goodness. I always say I don't do insects. So then I went ahead and had so much fun with my monarch that I challenged our whole creative connection that on their May challenge piece, they actually have to put an insect or a bee, like a bird. I told them they could even put a bird. Okay, we're getting we're getting right here, guys. We're just outlining. Oh, I don't know. If Lolly says she got her bachelor's in a nonprofit something. Fantastic. That is awesome. That's a good accomplishment. Congratulations. Tasha Watkins, I'm going to give you a minus gold star. She's peaking. Tasha. Tasha gets a minus gold star. So I'm outlining it with black. And what I'm noticing on this picture is that the, um, the wings have like a little bit of waviness to them on the edge. Whereas this one, I didn't see that in the photo that I used for this one. Um, I don't know if it's because they're tucked in a little bit tighter and they're not spread all the way out, but the ed 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 edges are much more jagged. Lisa Dixon says, Matt, add an ant. Lisa? That is on my agenda to do. Lisa, you're in trouble, not, sister. She is not looking. That is on my agenda. You're in trouble, sister. She's always getting in trouble. I think she must stay that way. She likes it there. It must be a good place for her. So I'm just creating all of these little lines with the tip of my. Yeah, Deanna St. James Van Ruden. She can't close her eyes. She's currently on a ladder drilling hole for wiring for a new studio, along with watching you and typing at the same time. 
girlfriend. She is impressive. You're impressive, but you might need to just pick one or the other. So if you guys want anything for Mother's Day, if you want it before then, it has to be ordered tonight and Matt will ship it tomorrow. Right, babe? Or will you? Will you have time? Not really? <laughs> I should have asked you first before I said that. Yeah. Well, because we already talked we already, we already talked about this. We really need you to be in today. I mean, you know, this, you know, this afternoon. So I could have shipped it out this afternoon. Okay. But you can still get something out tomorrow if it's like, if we know it's a Mother's Day thing. Right. Okay. All right. I'm just making little bitty lines. And now I need to come in with my yellow. So I have, like I said, I have the yellow ochre. And then I have my fire starter from DIY. And I'm just going to get them on my tray and just mix them up together with uh, the icon. It's the tiny, teeny brush in the Turquoise Iris collection. But does that look, does that look natural? Like the placement of it, Matt? I think so. Yeah. Does it like it's sitting on top of the flower and getting mm -hmm. kind of right into the core of the good stuff? Yeah. Okay. I'm going to get some of the orange on my clay and make, tray and just kind of take half of the yellow and mix it with the orange. And so I'll have the orange and the yellow, and then I'll have a medium color that I'm going to mix together. I want to create a lot of variation the way I did with this one inside that yellow and orange. And then this piece has got to go to New Jersey, to the buyer. It was so sweet when I talked to her on the phone yesterday. She said, I want to buy this, but I would really love a Monarch after she saw it on that wardrobe that we did. And I thought, okay, I can do it. I can Before do it. Before you know it, you'll be painting animals. No, I won't. <laughs> <laughs> Why not? I'm terrible at that stuff. Isn't this how we grow as artists? We try something new. I mean, not we, you try something new. Yeah, you don't try anything new. Uh-huh. No, I, you just paint. I do the you dishes. Paint, you paint a black tree from a, from a uh, album cover. You do the dishes. That is so, what are you talking about? See, Miss Mitzi Man says they flatten their wings when they start to eat the nectar. So you've, you've captured this very nicely, Tiana. Okay, good. You won't have... Um, uh, anybody telling us that we were doing it incorrectly? Well, right now, I've, I've outlined it with the black, but what I'm going to do is just fill it in with a bunch of orange and yellow. Then I'm going to have to come back in and trace over it and fill those black lines back in because, you know, you're using a teeny tiny brush. And I think that the yellow and the orange looks more natural if you build, go back and forth with the colors. But since this is the third butterfly I've ever painted, we are doing the best we can. It looks lovely. Thank you, honey. It was a perfect day here, weather-wise. Uh, Mary would like to know, do you mix the acrylic paint with the eye? I sure do, all the time. That's what I'm doing actually right now at this moment. I have... Um, fire starter mixed with, I'm using actually whole bean. Hi, Sheila. <laughs> How are you? I'm putting just a little one, like a profile one over here. So they, there's two of them. And then I'm going to sand them back a little bit because they're, they're really vibrant. Um, they need to be a little bit more distressed. And then I will put the waxes back over it. So it brings more into it rather than I don't want it to look like it was like placed there as a sticker or something. Um, I, I think I want to say this right. Um, Delmonica. Delmonica, hi. Delmonica, yes. I'm trying to paint a cow at the moment and it's looking like a mad cow. Uh oh. <laughs> I couldn't help you with cows, that. I have painted one cow before. Cows are hard. Or maybe two. I think I've done two. So I'm noticing that on some of this like there's some yellow and there's a lot of variation with all inside all of these little um, pops of color so i'm just going to keep layering yellow and, and orange and yellow and orange and different variations of it 
Um, I remember when he wore a robe, Lolly. Thank you, Derek. I was laying down acrylic and putting DIY over and not having success. Just mix them in together. Mom. Mary, I do it all the time, especially on canvases. Who wore the robe? Was he referring to you? I'm not sure. I think Lolly. They I'm could, trying, I'm they, trying to keep up. They could have been talking about something else. Yes. But right. they might be making fun of you. It's highly possible. If anybody makes fun of me, it's like they got this group. I think they have a YouTube or a Facebook page. That I think says, you're flattering yourself too much. It says make fun of Matt. Let's just come up with some good ones. Well, you. I know. You, I think Lolly. Lolly is a ringleader. You set yourself up. And I'm pretty sure Lisa Dixon and Del Lisa Dixon are in it. We still haven't got to meet Lisa Dixon. We've met Del Lisa and Lolly, but we still haven't got to meet Miss Lisa. Not yet. I, yes, we need to. Uh, we Lisa to. Dixon. When are we meeting you? She's a northern northeast gal, right? Um, let me think about this for, let me think about her address for just a second. Annette says, those butterflies look beautiful. Thank you, Annette. Derek says, looking great, Dion. Thanks so much. I'm just going to layer these colors. Hope this isn't too boring, you guys. If it is, I'm sorry. This is just something that I thought was a little different, and I've never done this before. And who doesn't love a monarch butterfly, right? Yeah, I think Lisa, she's a she's a Northeast gal, isn't she? I think so. I think so. I'll tell you what really makes these pop, you guys, is once you get the little white specks. Oh, um, she's, no, she's North Carolina gal. I, will, I actually thought South Carolina is what I was going to say. I was going to say South Carolina because I've shipped some things to her. Okay, now you can see them a little bit better. Not boring, very interesting. You're sweet. I'm not good at intricate. I'm not good at little details. At least I don't feel like I am. So this is a do stretch. Do we have Irma on here tonight? I don't know. Do we? I don't, I don't know. I have yes. To, I have talked to her a few times. Yes, she's right there. She says you need fairies. I'm sorry, Miss that Irma. Oh, glad, glad you're thanks, here Irma, honey. I'm so so glad you're here. I've missed you so much. We've missed seeing your face on FNL. Um, we've missed your jokes. My my no nickname Irma is here. Irma's another one that's in that group. Likes to give me a little bit of a hard time. Yeah, but she she's she does. But you know what they say, honey. When people pick on you, it's because they like you. Oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> All right, so let me add some more of the white. Janet, I'm not ignoring you. Uh, she wants to know if there's going to be a butterfly series coming up. Ooh, not until I get done with my Caribbean series, which is what I'm moving into right now. We're going to, we're going to still work on the Caribbean. The whole summer series of furniture is going to be Caribbean inspired. We're going to do an island, a fun island name. Um, I just posted one yesterday called Grand Cayman, uh, but it was a canvas. It wasn't, you know, a piece of furniture, but Grand Cayman posted. I put it on my website. Um, love the sunset in that one. I mean, just have to say that. I love my, my, my sunset I did. Butterflies. Jana, I'm going to have to get a little bit more brave, but thank you for that suggestion. Irma, Tanya Watkins said hello. Tanya or Tasha? Tasha. What did I say? Tanya. I apologize, Tasha. I, I am getting tired, getting lazy. I do that with Delisa and Lisa all the time. Well, you see the names and then you you just read it, but you're not really reading it. But that's okay. Um I had told Irma on email the other day that everybody was asking about her and we were really looking forward to her coming back and seeing us. So I'm very happy that Irma has popped on tonight. Um, Betty wants to know, did you see the picture of the monarch butterfly on her page? No, I did not. Okay. I may have. Did you, t did you tag me? I saw... Um, yeah, did you see the photo of the monarch on my butterfly weed? on my page. I yeah. don't remember if I did, Betty. Somebody tagged me today for a purple iris that was blooming in their yard. And I don't remember who that was, but I was so grateful for that tag. Okay, so right now we're gonna do the white dots because I've noticed that the white dots is what really makes it come alive. So what brush are you using on for that? The, it's is the number it? four round. No, no, no. Okay. 
This one's a little bit larger. It carries, holds a lot more paint. And then I'm just gonna kind of look and see where they're. Cheryl said, uh, Matt, I would pick on you, but I'm not good at it. <laughs> Julie Moore says, glad to hear about Irma, been thinking about her. She's doing okay. She's had a lot going on, but she's going to get back into the swing of things pr pretty soon. Tasha, you're going to get your gold star back since I messed up your name. <laughs> <laughs> she says, I'm, I'm not the only one who's called her Tanya. <laughs> All right, guys, we're right by the kitchen. I need to go back with the black and add some more liner, but I'm getting my white dots in here. Uh, Karen Brown would like to know where you found the handles for this piece. So this was already on here. Um, I bought this piece and the, the reason I bought this was I bought it from Piper and um, Piper lives here locally and she had covered it in Annie Sloan paint. It was pretty. She had done an ombre with a white frame and she had different shades of um, turquoise and it had been in her daughter's room for years. And she messaged me and she said her daughter wants something different and did I want it? So we went up to Edmund and we bought it from her. Um, so these knobs were already on here. They're glass and they're, they're blue turquoise color. Um, so I just kept them on there. How lucky is that? Okay, so I'm going to go back with the black and I'm going to go over it now and frame out Lydia De La Cruz. Hi, Lydia. How are you? Says, Hi, loving this gorgeous piece. Thank you so much. I taught Christy this... Baldwin Wright loves the butterflies. Christy, you probably do an amazing butterfly. I'm gonna have Christy on the podcast soon. Nice. Yep. I think we've got her scheduled. She was featured in the journal. She's a watercolor artist, and well, she's an artist. She does so many different things. Uh, Betty says she also had posted purple irises and other flowers, but didn't tag you. Okay, well, somehow I saw some, and somebody tagged me, and I was so grateful. We don't have any irises planted here. Christy says, I like yours. Thank you. Okay, so let's bring in, what do y'all think? So this one I did earlier today, but I still want to sand it and soften it a little bit um, and put the waxes over it because right now I just feel like it's like, hey, because this was all finger painting. Um, I did most of this in the group, but then I went back and decided I needed more. I splattered our whole, uh, the sorry, Instagram. I'll, I'll grab that phone in just a second. I splattered all of this on here and then did all of the flowers by hand without any brushes. And then, of course, I used brushes on this today because ours. Oh, she has a ton of irises in her yard. Uh, okay, so there's that. So I have to wait for. Thank you, guys. Thank you so much. This is a stretch for me, but I'm feeling I'm feeling much more confident about it. So you know what, Janet? There might be a butterfly series coming up. Thank you. It's a good idea. It could be a good idea. It's a great way to learn how to mix colors because all of them have their own. So I was just telling you guys on Instagram also, um, this is the one that I worked on today. I actually did a, the top of the piece is our barnyard, not barnyard, our barnwood uh, liquid patina that is offered from DIY. Then I put a white wax over it and I got something, I don't know, what color would you call that? I thought it was going to look kind of a driftwood, but when I put the black wax, I'm sorry guys, when I put the black wax um, on the front of this, this having the white wax just looked too much of a contrast. So I went back and put the black wax over the white wax over the barn wood finish and it looks really good. So how are you going to soften up the butterflies? I'm going to sand them. Lightly sand? Mm -hmm. I'm going to lightly like, sand. Like then three, I'm going to like put... Like a 320 grit? I don't know. 400 grit? And then I'm going to do what or I did... 600 with... grit. <laughs> <laughs> then I'm going to um, 
go over it just the way I did the entire piece. I'm going to put clear wax and then I'm going to go back in with the turquoise wax and give it like a tint is kind of what the turquoise did. Such a sheer coat, but I put the clear on first to protect it. Uh, and then I put the turquoise over the whole thing. And then I'm probably going to bring in just a little bit of shading around the bottoms of them with black wax. And that's what you get with all of this shading that you see around the edges. Uh, the wax adds a whole new element. Like you can see all of that. That's all done with wax. So does anybody have any questions? I look at Michelle. She says, sell, sell, sell. We have the kaleidoscope. Just a few bags left. Um, you guys, Mother's Day's in a few days. <laughs> Make sure you get your mama something. I'm a butterfly care. pro now. Thank you so much on Instagram. I appreciate you. Hopefully my customer will be super happy with this. Um, she had a special story that she shared with me when she called me yesterday and told me um, why she was requesting the Monarchs. Um, so anyway, I hope this was helpful. Is that a dresser? It is, Irma. It is a dresser. It's a great solid piece that had been with my friend for many years. Can you add turquoise paint with wax? Uh, you could. You could do that. I use DIY and we actually have a turquoise wax. It's our Verdigree Shipwrecked wax and so it looks so good over our copper patina and uh, that gives it that's the one that i used on the piece that we called um baja the baja baby um i guess that's it uh guys the finger painting which is what i did here that group is going to launch on the 18th so if you've been wondering what that is um there's a small fee for it it's a monthly charge and we're going to talk all things related to finger painting. With that being said, we will still use other tools. We will do base coating. We will still use palette knives and different brushes, um, different mediums. We might even do some decoupaging. Um, I have an idea that I wanna show you guys that I've never done before, but it's all gonna be around getting the paint on our hands. And there's so much to that here in our mind um, that will really push our creativity. So that group, if you're not aware of it, or if you have any idea what I'm talking about, just make sure you're on the mailing list and that you open the mailing list on Sunday, open the mail, the email that I send out and all of that information will be there. Uh, again, it's like $12 a month, um, but it's a completely new group. It's going to be on Facebook. It's not going to be part of the creative connection because I just don't want to I don't want to put too much content in there where everybody in there feels like oh, so much. I want to splatter paint like Janet. I know, Cheryl, everybody wants to splatter paint like Janet. Matthew, did I show you that video? You did not. Where she got up oh, on the no, lift? No, yeah, she got on the lift. Yes, yeah, yeah, yes, yeah. Yes. We watched that together. Impressive. All right, everybody. I hope this was fun. This was fun. Thanks for hanging out with me. Are I don't think going, we've been on her very long. Are you going to do that and then send a picture out of what the what they Yes, I will. I will be... Um, I need to let this dry and then tomorrow I'll sand it and put the waxes on it. And um, I will take a final picture because I also want to send it to the buyer so she can see it too. Thank you, Debbie. Thank you, Joe Murphy. I appreciate you. Um, I will be back Friday night. Now here's the best part of Friday night. The ladies that I'm coaching in in my Empowered by Design group, it's a one-on-one -on -one coaching. There's 25 of them, but we get a call with me every single month, one-on-one, -on -one, where we completely strategize about their business and what they need more than anything else, right? Um, so this month's focus, we have six modules. Um, so for the next 12 weeks on Friday Night Live, I'm gonna have a guest. And their challenge is that they have to come live me on Friday Night Live, um, that they have to, you know, communicate and say hello and do all of those things. Um, so some of them, it's not a big deal because some of them do lives on their own pages, but some of them have never done a live before and they're going to come on Friday night live. And so part of it is what I'm coaching them on. They're going to um, go live on social media just so they can check that first thing off their list. So by the time we get to the social media module, which is module six, they'll say, I've already done that. I've gone on Friday night live. So they're going to come on. You guys are going to get to meet them. They're going to show you their studio. They're going to say hello. We can ask them any questions. And we're going to also bring on other guests and play our games. Um, so it's going to be a really good fun. So tonight or Saturday, Friday night, I have Tammy Weber coming on, who was on here earlier. I don't know if Tammy's still on here. And then I have Danielle Schunk. Uh, both of those ladies will be coming on for 20 minutes each. So we will see you back on Friday night for Friday Night Live. Thank you, Lisa. I appreciate you being here. Thank you, Instagram. Thank you, everybody else. Have a great night. See ya.